Welcome, I'll be reacting to The Muppets Go to the Movies. I had a poll over on Patreon, who was your favorite Muppet? It looks like the snarky duo Statler and Waldorf are tied with Beaker for favorite, followed by Gonzo and Miss Piggy. So I guess I need you to help break the tie, so post in the comments. I would go for Statler and Waldorf. They're just so hilarious. As always, this is a commentary. It is not a market substitute. Please support the original. Oh, and Beaker has something to say as well. Meow, 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 meow. Thank you, Beaker. We're going to recreate some of our favorite movie moments with the help Ooh. of our very special friends, Dudley Moore and Lily Tomlin. All right, what will their favorites be? Ooh, Star Wars. It would be funny if it was the holiday special. What are you interested in now? Moving out of here. Thank you. One of the great swashbucklers. Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers. Yeah. Nice. The bar is very high here, though, because we have to compete with What's the Story, Wishbone, Three Musketeers, which is a masterpiece. The carte blanche. It's like the ultimate hall pass. It means you can do anything you want, anytime you want. D'Artagnan, I seek you in the name of the king. You are under arrest. You have got to be kidding. Here we are in the castle of the Cardinal d'Escargot. <laughs> Rumor has it the Cardinal will be kidnapped tonight. This must not happen. Why are you protecting the Cardinal? <sighs> and that bakery is... Humperdinck. Humperdinck? Oh, yeah. As in Prince Humperdinck? Inconceivable. That simple wimp, the Scarlet Pimpernel. Oh no, I knew it. This is anarchy. For there, the dreaded Scarlet Pimpernel is making his escape. Yikes, Porthos, thou art correct. Thou art in the wrong Come book. Swing. Wishbone still holds the crown on best Three Musketeers adaptation. Billion light years for this. How did it happen? You're the Tante Semono. I hate foreign oh, films dear. with subtitles. Oh, it's worse when they dub them into English. Why? Because the lip movements never match up. Oh, that was good. Oh, look at the tiny dog. Oh. White. I'm supposed to be in black and white. The color comes in a minute. Oh. Don't adjust your sets, folks. <laughs> I could while away the hours. Oh. With the flowers. This is adorable. With the rain. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if, if I, I only had, had a heart. heart. Oh, that was great. Gladiators fight to the death. I've never laughed so much in all my life. In oh, Cinemascope. Yeah. Friends, Romans, countrymen, oh, lend no. me your ears. Oh, no. What'd you do with the ones we lent you last week? I sucked them on my chariot. Why? Because they're charioteers. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Great empires have their ups and downs. Oh my goodness. But we won't be down for long. No. Oh. I don't know what I'm watching, but I'm here for it. We are about to die. Salute you. 
Gonzo with the chicken. All right, which one of you has been her? That wasn't much of a spectacle. Wasn't even a Monaco. Oh, oh. Crystal chandelier. Soikilist staircase. Glitter. I built the stairway to paradise. What? Sure, sure. Listen, in our new movie, um, The Great Muppet Caper, Miss Piggy does a production number called The First Time. But we can do it with rats. I don't mind that they're reusing it. This was a fun moment. Yeah, here comes the Busby Berkeley. Well, I guess it's like a mutual admiration society then, because I think ever since I first laid eyes on you, I thought that... Uh, uh, uh oh. The perfect person to introduce the horror movie. And those uh, unbelievable monsters. I mean, some of the things that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. We are going to perform the world's first joke transplant. <laughs> but how did. Uh, okay. Could we talk about. Oh, what do you get? When you pour boiling water down a rabbit hole! Hot cross bunnies! What? It, what? Nothing we can do! Why not? Well, they're back in the 19th century! Our hoses won't reach! <laughs> oh, he has the little tiny mustache. I just finished. I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> and so the talkies were born. <laughs> the latest work of that great Scandinavian director, Ingemar Bergman. <laughs> Sam, it's by his brother Gummo. The Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I am the angel of death. Well, if you do not wish death, how about a rubber chicken? What? Ah! Waka waka waka. Well, I've done a lot of it since then, and it adds up to just one thing. You're getting on that plane. You're getting on that plane with Victor. Oh no! <laughs> if that plane leaves the ground and you're not on it, you'll regret it. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow, but soon, and for the rest of your life. <laughs> Don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. Of this more profound genre, I favor most the work of the French directors, the great French directors, subtle, enigmatic, sophisticated. That is why I have asked the Muppets to leave well enough alone. I was like, Muppets and Do subtle? I don't know. Their tasteless tribute to the Western. Imagine the Muppets trying to do Jacques Tati. But if I die, I'm gonna die with my boots on. You ain't got time to stop and change your shoes now. <laughs> this is mayhem. Were some of those horses cows? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Guns out. Tarzan, you Jane. <laughs> Forget it. Oh dear. I just don't know how to get there. Uh, well, just keep going straight. Yeah, I remember this scene. <laughs> the fact that they have penguins in this sequence about the tropical heat wave. Ah. Oh, well, I don't know. What would I do? The Fred Astaire tribute you did in The Great Muppet Caper? Wait a minute. I was right. I remember seeing that and going, that looks so much like 
Fred Astaire, and I'm pretty sure that's what they were referencing, but I never got confirmation until now. Hmm. Yeah. Because the great thing about Fred Astaire is he used just normal objects that were in the location and would dance with them. Oh no. <laughs> Who could put out a file like that? What are you doing? Excuse me, buddy. You dropped your thing. Right, the girl of my dreams, but I didn't see a soul. Mm. As I sat there listening to the music, <laughs> war is heck. <laughs> Bandits at twelve o'clock. But it's already quarter past three. No, no, no. Bandits at twelve o'clock. Okay, lunch. <laughs> It's green. Yes. yes. I'm I'm an avocado. No, no, no. I'm an avocado with flippers. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Would you marry me? Oh, I'm afraid not. But why not? You see, I'm a nun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good twist. Oh, that's great. Don't know where. Should we go with you? Yeah, let me just lock up the doors here. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Help! The door's locked! Help us! <laughs> that was absolute chaos. Some of the stories were just throw everything and the kitchen sink and hope something sticks and then some of them were really quite heartwarming. Wizard of Oz was beautifully done. The war movies were hilarious and Gone with the Wind was really good. I loved her costume. It was a mix between the famous scarlet dress that she shows up in and the green dress that she wears made from the drapes and I really appreciate that some costume designer for Miss Piggy combined those two gowns into one instantly recognizable dress. They also did kind of a clip show for this one, with a lot from, I think it was the Muppet Caper, the other tribute to the movies. I think because they had a much bigger budget for that one, and this one they had a very tiny budget, this is my guess, so they brought in some of those more streamlined scenes to kind of zhuzh up Muppets Go to the Movies. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, I really like Muppet Caper, and it did feel seamless to drop those bits in, but I also kind of wish they had just kept doing random skits, even if they were very haphazardly done, like Three Musketeers, but kept to original content. Let me know what you think. Do you like that they dropped in little hints of other scenes, or would you have preferred all new stuff? The two human actors, although I didn't really recognize them exactly, I think I've seen them in a couple of things, but nothing jumps out. Anyway, they were great. They really got into it. I also think kids would really like it. Although they wouldn't get all the references. So I don't know, would this be as funny if you didn't know all the films that they were talking about? I feel like it would be.